So in honor of all the moms out there today, I'm using Mommy SPF 50 PA++++. This is a water resistant Japanese, or excuse me, yeah, water resistant Japanese sunscreen for my dear. Oh my goodness, I am really, really a fan of this sunscreen. It is, first of all, how adorable. Look at the cute little ink. Um, octopus. This is a chemical sunscreen, fragrance free, super moisturizing. It has um, tinosorb in it for both UVB and UVA protection. It also has avabenzone in it for UVA protection. And it has diethyl amino hydroxy benzoyl hexyl benzoate, <laughs> which is the chemical name for Uvenol A. Plus. That is the trade name. Uvenol A plus gives good protection against both UVA1 and UVA2, has a peak absorption of 354 nanometers. So that is another phenomenal filter in this Japanese sunscreen. It is, it also, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, it has jojoba oil in it. Very moisturizing, um, goes on around the eyes with no problem. It is really fantastic. There's no alcohol in it for those of you who are bothered by alcohol content and sunscreens. Really moisturizing and it doesn't leave you looking like a wax fruit like that other Japanese sunscreen, the alley one that I tried yesterday, that I was talking about in yesterday's vlog. This one is really good. So, in honor of all the moms out there, mommy, this is a good one for everyone. Really like it. And, fun thing about the mommy sunscreen, you know, I'm a fan of the Nivea. The Nivea sunscreen in the pump. You can get the Mommy sunscreen in, in a pump that is a little teddy bear. It's really adorable. <laughs> then speaking of Mommy, my mom uh, was using, she has this Color Science Sun Forgettable Brush on sunscreen that she was putting on over her sunscreen this morning. She has a base layer of her Aveeno SPF 30 on and then she was just dusting a little bit of this on. This is an excellent um, frosting on the cake. It is a mineral sunscreen, SPF 50, PA++++. It has zinc and titanium dioxide for both UVB and UVA uh, protection. It also has iron oxides in it. And uh, it's great. Uh, it's a mineral, mineral powder. Very uh, gentle, good for people with sensitive skin or rosacea. I'll be reviewing this for you guys uh, later this week, so stay tuned for that. But uh, my mom's got one and she seems to be liking it. Yes, your hair looks really Happy nice Sunday. today. Happy Sunday. Yeah, I picked up big overnight. I don't know what happened. It's voluminous, yeah. Do you sleep with it in uh, like uh, a twist or something? I just uh, don't comb it after I wash it. <laughs> this is what happens. That's what I do. I don't comb my hair ever. What did you think of the Color Science uh, SPF 50? I really enjoyed what do you it. Think it went on so well uh -huh. with the brush. Yeah. And it's more like um, to take a while off the shine, mm -hmm. but yet you're getting the sun protection. Yeah. So it's really good. You like it. I'm going to keep this in my purse. Yeah. Um, because it's not that I wear a lot of makeup, yeah. but this would be handy sometimes when you feel yeah. that you need a little does it, does it, is it drying or anything? Does it settle in, in the fine lines? Well, you tell me because I can't It see. doesn't appear to, no. When I, the one I, the way I've been using it, I've tried it and it seems fine. But. When I first put it on, I thought I would get some coverage, like Got it. maybe cover that. Uh -huh. But um, it's more for, to take away the shine. Yeah. Like you would use powder. Like you'd use powder. It's very nice. Yeah. You can see um, when you open the brush, mm -hmm. the little hair, the little powder. Yeah. So you know it's coming out. Yeah, it's nice. It's cool. really cool. Yeah. And you got your coffee. Yes. Good morning. What'd you, what'd you get in your your bowl? So, Ooh, what is um, that? This is a vegan chocolate chip cookie. Oh, cool. So I'll let you know how that's going. Okay. And then what did you um, get here? I've got piping hot oatmeal here. Ooh. Um, with all the berries, and I put some sesame seeds, uh -huh. lots of cinnamon. So yeah, really I just good. wanted to mix it up today instead of getting my usual yeah. salad stuff. Yeah. Cool. So, no, aren't those raspberries pretty? Yeah, the blackberries? Yes. Yeah, really pretty. They're huge. 
So the turmeric shaker little, um, the holes on the turmeric shaker are a bit large and it came out <laughs> rather, <laughs> rather strong, but I, I like turmeric so that's okay. I have some uh, ginger beets and then they have shredded rainbow carrots, kale and uh, black rice salad and then on the bottom is a little bit of the Whole Foods to tofu scramble and some spiralized zucchini. So that's what I I've like got. Their tofu scramble. Yeah, I like it because they don't add oil to it. No, it's not the least bit greasy. And it's, it's not with the hash browns. Yeah, oh, the hash browns are nice. It's not salty either. No, I like that. Yeah, it's really good. We like our whole foods. Yeah, their salad bar is good. So last night at the gym. I um, was watching on YouTube some uh, Erin Condren planner reviews of the new planner. I think I'm gonna stick with my blue sky planner, I've decided. You need to go on their website and see yeah. the options open. Well, the Erin Condren one has all of these, has all of these things that I won't use or need. And that, that's what makes it heavy. And I think I'll just grow to resent it. OMG, we were, we watched episode eight of, I think season, I'm gonna say we're on season three of Down Abbey last night. It is getting, I mean, so it's gonna be hard when it's completely, when it's completely finished with, I mean, you've seen the entire, all the seasons, but you're enjoying watching it. Yeah. All right. You ate all of your breakfast like a good girl, so you can have your cookie now. <laughs> How is it? Is it soft? Mm -hmm. You're just it's not too soft. Mm -hmm. It's not too hard. It's just like good. Good. Um. You don't really like, um, I mean, it's not that you don't like, but I find that you pr your your thing seems to be more oatmeal cookies and the like nut cookies or butter cookies. You're not really a fudgy cookie no. person. I mean, you don't turn it down if it's offered, but that's not what you gravitate towards in them. Exactly. You're, you like nut-based cookies. I can do chocolate chips. Yeah. yeah. yeah Ooh, Tybee, drink up. Drink up. Did you have a good workout? Did you have a good workout? Yes, yes I did. Got lots of fresh air and now I'm tired. <laughs> he did pretty well out there. We're back. So we're back, we're gonna watch a movie. It's called Mother's Day. It's got Julia Roberts in it. Julia Roberts and um, let me look and see. Julia Roberts and Jennifer Aniston. I like and Jennifer Aniston. What other actors? Oh, um, Reese, not Reese Witherspoon. Uh, the uh, Goldie Hawn's daughter. Oh, right? Um, Isn't she one of the characters? Yes. We'll take a look. I can't think of what her name is. Kate Hudson. That's her name. And I started truly madly guilty. I can already tell I'm gonna like this. Yeah, it's so it. witty, the writing. Yes. The little jibes here and there, I like it. It is, and wait till you get into all the characters. Yeah. Because she's really good. I like what she says about the barcode tattoo. Oh, yeah, that was funny. That was funny. That's cute. Mother's Day. Every day should be Mother's Day. I agree, I'll vote for that one. Yeah, oh, what do you think? Oh. I mean, this this movie's pretty good. It's making it's me laugh. Stupid. I have to say though, whoever was responsible for the spray tanning in this movie didn't do a very good job. It's all uneven. You can you can see the spray tanning on all the actors. It all looks amongst all the actors. You can tell they've had a spray tan. It's just uneven and blotchy. But this is funny. You like it? It's made me laugh. Yeah, it's it's lighthearted. It's a little. Yeah. It's not like a blockbuster it's hit, but, but it's, it's just lighthearted. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Ty B likes it. He just had himself a gluten free pretzel. Unsalted. And now he wants more. I don't. Yeah. I don't know that he can have those, but. 
just had one. I don't think those are gluten free. I think they're just the. Oh, those are the. Those are the, those are the ones. You bought them a long time ago, the unsalted Snyders, and they've been in there for a while. This. He seems to like it. Uh, I bet he'd like, camera. dogs can eat peanut butter, right? Yeah. He might like it with a little peanut butter on it. If but you ever had to so give messy. him. It gets all over yeah, the floor. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, he, he might. You can make these little treats with um, apples and peanut butter and then mm -hmm. freeze them to keep them kind of distracted. Yeah. Plus they like them in the summer. Who is this woman? She needs to be my British BFF. I really like her. Do you know her name? Worsley, Worsley. Lucy Worsley? I like her. She's a historian. I love the way she dresses up in, uh, in period. Yeah, she does pieces. that. And cool. then she wears the nicest little dresses. She's cute. Um, yeah, I like her. Tidy, you went out for another for another cardio sesh. You did. You do, did you do some hit, some high intensity interval training, huh? Working on your on your on your squats. We're putting a little parsley in his food to kind of get you know, freshen his breath a bit. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, I don't know if this will work. He seems to not suffer from halitosis, fortunately. Yes, but I've been giving no, this. I haven't noticed a yeah, doggy well, halitosis. If you haven't noticed it, that's good. I mean, I don't. Granted, I don't put my face up to his mouth and inhale, but you know, when he does he come near me, I don't. No. But we're getting ready to uh, to fix a little lunch. I just swatched. <laughs> some tinted sunscreens. Under this eye, I have um, a little bit of oven uh, in the, what shade is that that you have? Um, it is, oh, no, that's not your here. the one in the back. I think it's a medium dark. Medium dark, yeah. Yeah. It's under this eye and nothing under this eye. Look at me, pretty soon. I'll be contouring, no, never. Although I, um, I noticed that Kevin O'Quinn, he oh. had, there's a documentary on him. I really enjoyed as a, I was maybe a teenager when this, yeah, that, that book came out. Book. Yeah. And that was the first time I ever was, kind of thought makeup was interesting. But apparently, apparently Kevin O'Quinn um, was responsible for the, the contouring phenomenon. Like he invented that. Oh. Because that was in the days prior to, prior to Photoshop. Oh. And so people had to look um, contoured. At least that's what I gleaned from the little, Two or three seconds of the uh, of the documentary that was flashed before me and in, in where when I was realizing. We should watch that. Yeah, that would be how, you, how you access that. So for lunch, I'm having a bed of mixed greens with some shredded carrots and then some baby carrots as well. Some um, of that store bought mango tomato salsa. Some black beans. A potato, um, half of one of the veggie burgers from yesterday, and some cherry tomatoes. And I have put some of the chicken flavored Mrs. Dash on it with um, just apple cider vinegar. Oh, there's also some cubed uncooked squash in there, and a little red potato. And then these little little worms are, um, my mom got some of these, I call them vegan Cheetos. <laughs> They're, uh, Chickpea puffs. They're made out of chickpea flour and they have some sort of uh, white cheddar -y taste to them. Cheetos were kind of not my favorite chip as a child. I liked Doritos when I was a little kid. The, the, um, the, the sour. Sour cream ones? Yeah, the sour cream flavored yeah. ones. But they all kind of taste the same in reality. But what I detested about Cheetos was when kids would eat them and get the, the hand, their hands all yellow and then lick their fingers. We're like, having we're hibiscus tea today, just like we made last week. You like that, I huh? I love it. Yeah, it's, it's good so stuff. It's so pretty. Look at the color. Let's have a look at your... Oh, you cubed up your veggie burger. Made yeah, it like, I did. I like little morsels. A little easier that way. Yeah. I must say it's on the dry side. That recipe is. I wasn't so, gonna. Um, I wasn't gonna point that out. You yesterday. suggested maybe not putting the rice in it. Yeah. And maybe more salsa. I don't know. Yeah, the um, veggie burger recipe. I'll list it down below. It came from the yeah. Esselsons. It comes out a little dry with the brown rice in there, and I think um, if you used um, maybe if you used like a shorter grain rice, or I always just use oatmeal. I don't ever put brown rice. It does in have all the notes. It in does. It, so. 
Yeah, maybe more oats and no rice. Yeah, yeah. Would do the trick. Or yeah, it, it, they taste good though. The flavors very are really good. good. Especially the turmeric in there gives it the yeah, and the salsa is really yeah. do, does good in there. Yeah. And Tybee, Tybee wants a carrot. <laughs> That's my post workout. My post workout. <laughs> I gotta put that in my fitness pal. Take it in Ukraine. Counting my macros. He must be very hungry these <laughs> You decided to have one of those flat out wraps too. I, I don't like think I pointed that out. Yeah, they are good. Gotta stay classy. <laughs> Well, hey guys, what's up? I am obviously back home. I went to the gym and just got out of the shower. So, um, you know, obviously you're watching this today and it's Mother's Day, so I just wanna wish every mom out there a happy Mother's Day. I obviously really, really cherish and love my mother very much and am greatly appreciative of her and to have her in my life. So, um, you know, if you're a mom out there, definitely happy Mother's Day. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the little chit chat about the Mommy Waterproof Sunscreen. You know, this is so cute, this packaging. It's really, it's really cute, you know, kid, 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 kid centric, but you know, hence why I like it. Honestly, anyone can use this sunscreen. You don't have to be a child. Um, but, uh, you know, I get a lot of questions from parents um, in the comments or caregivers in the comments. How do I get my child to put on sunscreen or tolerate sunscreen? Every sunscreen I put on my child, they can't stand. Um, you know, Sunscreen application and sunscreen use, I uh, firmly believe, even though, as I said yesterday, I obviously don't have kids, so I you know, can't completely relate to the struggle of raising children, understandably. But, you know, behaviors are learned. They're, they're things that we observe, and kids pick up on this stuff very, very early. So, you know, if you are a parent, a caregiver, I really, really encourage you to lead by example. And children pick up and imitate the things that they see. Um, oftentimes, that is hopefully, you know, to their benefit, uh, and that you know you're doing good things like brushing your teeth. Children see that. Um, unfortunately, you know, sometimes kids pick up bad habits too. Uh, sometimes we. Uh, we may slip and swear in front of them, and then <laughs> they sure do remember that word, <laughs> it seems like. Um, you know, or sometimes they see horrible behaviors, unfortunately, that, you know, they then grow up to repeat. But one, you know, one behavior that you can show your child is applying sunscreen. And, you know, I, I encourage you not only to do it in front of your child, you know, apply sunscreen, talk them through sunscreen, but give them their own sunscreen and teach them how to put it on. Teach them to enjoy putting it on. And, you know, then it becomes a learned behavior and something that the kids want to do and come to it anticipate doing and expect doing, you know, in this cute packaging. You know, I always say like, you don't have to be a baby to use this, but I kind of like the cute packaging if it, you know, if it appeals to children and makes them want to use it. I'm all for that. Um, but kids really do pick up on this stuff by by watching. I mean, think about makeup, okay? You know, people say it's, it's a struggle to get kids to learn to put on sunscreen and, you know, to want to tolerate it. But, you know, they, you, you, know, you know, little girls out there will want to put on makeup and they'll see mom putting on makeup in front of the mirror and they'll want to do the same thing. You know, Fisher, does Fisher Price even exist? See, I'm, I'm showing that I'm obviously not a parent. You know, they have little plastic makeup sets, all of these things. I really wish they would just come out with like plastic sun protection that kids could play around with and then want to use their own. Um, I remember for me, a big deal when I was a little girl was getting those Bonnie Bell lip smackers. I always thought that I was like so grown up with my lip smackers. So, you know, kids, kids see parents doing things that, you know, they interpret as adult behaviors and they want to do it themselves. And having, having their own makes them more likely to do it. You teach them how to do it um, and it just becomes something that they're used to you know you remind them you you show them you say oh we're going we're going to be leaving the house soon so let's go ahead and put our sunscreen on mommy has hers daddy has his you know grandma wh whomever the caregiver is 
has theirs. I really, really think, you know, while I obviously have never raised a child, I, I really, really know that children learn by observing. I mean, we all learn frequently by observing. We have a saying, there's a saying in medicine, see one, do one, teach one. You know, somebody shows you how to do something, you do it yourself, and then you repeat it in front of somebody else and teach that person. Once you teach somebody to do something, uh, it becomes more ingrained in you, and you know, you're passing that knowledge on. And the same holds true I believe philosophically in you know teaching children behaviors like this. Kids learn to brush their teeth. They have their own little cute toothbrushes, you know, with cartoon figures on them and you know their own special toothpaste with glitter or whatever, you know, that tastes like bubblegum. Uh sunscreen, you know, can be appealing to kids. Um, for sure, especially if they see mom and dad doing it and they think it's like this totally cool adult thing to do. Teenagers, I understand, are a completely different ball game. Um, you know, they want to carve their own path, they're establishing their identity, um, and they often, you know, may deviate from what mom and dad are doing, or they will, you know, often want to deviate from what mom and dad are doing because that's just not cool. Uh, but if you're able to establish the pattern early on, then, you know, it's not likely as likely something that they're gonna rebel against putting sunscreen on. I mean, do teenagers like rebel against putting, against brushing their teeth? Maybe some of them do, I don't know. I was a pretty compliant teenager. So again, I can't relate. Every kid is different, obviously. Every child is different. Every parent, you know, is kind of, has different different things that they, they have, to, have to think about. So it's certainly um, gonna be, you know, more challenging in certain situations than other, but I really, really, encourage you to see one, do one, teach one. And that goes for people like me <laughs> and for everyone else out there who has no, you know, day-to-day -day interaction with kids outside of, you know, I obviously do it professionally, but um, not, not, you know, in your day-to-day -day life. I don't have kids, you know, so it's very easy for somebody like me or, you know, maybe you or you, whomever is watching to say, oh, I don't have kids, like this doesn't really apply to me. But children see other people doing things and they want to repeat that, you know, so being bold and putting sunscreen on out in public, other people will start to pick up on that. Young children will start to pick up on that and uh, it's just more likely that people will start incorporating it the more it is observed that other people are doing it. I mean, people like to repeat what other people are doing, um, you know. So um, I encourage you guys out there to to teach children to, to put sunscreen on and to want to put it on and to understand that it's important an important part of taking care of taking care of yourself so anyways guys like I said happy Mother's Day and here in the US and but uh, happy Mother's Day if you like this vlog give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye